So I haven't watched any of the Jumanji movies. I haven't seen any of the movies of the Lennard toys, with the exception of Top Gun. But I'd like to check out two sets that have action figures. Jumanji, the Ultimate Collection, and Jumanji, Charging Rhino. In this whole video, we're going to take a look at both. Sorry, I won't be looking at any of the other animal figures. I'm not really interested in those. The Jumanji Ultimate Collection includes a rhino, a wolf, a vulture, a Jumanji, and Dr. Smolder Bravestone. The rhino can be obtained with Crash version 3. Bravestone can be obtained three different ways. With this set, the Colossal Elephant and Massive Hippo. The Vulture, Wolf and Jumanji are exclusive to this set. The Vulture's legs can move. The head can move up and down, but if you twist it, it will break off the glue holding it together. The wolf can move its legs and jaw. The rhino can move its legs. There's a button on the back, and when pressed, the head will move up and down. This will also make a rhino sound. The Jumanji is something that we've got in many sets, including Kong Skull Island and the Core Time Crisis. The dumbest thing about the Jumanji is the Jumanji logo on the hood. I mean, the DeLorean doesn't have the Back to the Future logo on its hood. Dr. Smolder Bravestone, or The Rock, was originally released in the Rampage sets. The Rock version 1 and 2 come in beige and maroon. Both of these versions have arms and legs from the Core Elite Tech Wars Curse Member Impact. This version of the Rock has arms and legs from the Core Elite Tech Wars El Jefe. He comes with a knife. Dr. Bravestone comes with the Rock's head. A zip up short sleeve shirt that the sleeves are just painted onto the bare arms. He has a pocket and knee pads on each leg. His lower left leg has a sheath for his knife. He moves and feels just like the other versions. The legs feel fragile and that's really about it. It's nice to have another modern Lennard figure in the mix, but too bad it's another rock figure. I wonder if we're ever going to see Wildside and Havoc in the core. If you think we're going to be looking at Ruby Roundhouse or Franklin Mouse Finbar, you're out of luck. Lennard decided that they just weren't worth it. But Professor Shelley Oberon, or Oberon, or Oberon, is totally in this line. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. This is just Crash version 3. It's not Jack Black. I repeat, this is not Jack Black. This Crash version 3 figure comes in all brown and they didn't even bother to paint his arms. But Raz, he's wearing long sleeves. No, he's not. Come on, who do you think we are? This Crash figure still uses the same mold as the previous two versions. Probably one of the funniest things I've seen in this Crash figure is this picture that was put up in the Lennard Core group. It's Crash version 3 with only half of his beard painted. That is the best. Since Lennard is constantly adding new versions of the Core figures into movie lines, I wonder who will be next. I hope it's Ghost. I hope you enjoyed this look at the Jumanji Ultimate Collection and Charging Rhino sets. 
and stay tuned for more reviews.